would call the Super Pro. The reason we like this is that we can change the, uh, the weight by moving the um, center of rotation of the fulcrum, moving it all the way down here for somebody that's really uh, needing rehab or just starting out uh, freshman in high school and maybe three quarters uh, and for our elite guys we'll be all the way up in here. Tom House is famous for saying that, that pitchers don't break big, they break small. They break small in the elbow and the shoulder, the ligaments, tendons, rotator cuff. And so this is one of our other uh, devices that we use to really strengthen this. So let me take you through uh, a series of exercises that we do in conjunction with the shoulder tube that really uh, built, brings out all of our arm care. And uh, once again, this has been very, very helpful for our people with elbow um, issues. Uh, the first one is uh, pronate and supinate. We bring the elbow right in here. We actually support it with our other, and we actually go really slow and try to get full range of motion, pronating and supinating. We can either do this for time or we do 25 reps. So typically we either do this for 45 seconds, a minute, or we, we count the reps, meaning back and forth is one. Then we have what we call flexion to extension, and all that is is this going straight like this. So the trying to get the hand to work this way and the elbow. Then we have rotations, and once again, that's either 25 reps or we do it for time, 45 seconds or a minute. We go rotations. We go clockwise and we go counterclockwise. So we'll do, we'll count the repetitions and we'll go 15 and 15, or we'll go 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds another. You'll really feel like you're getting a good burn there. Then we have, finally we have the clock drill, and where we're going to go, 12, 12 to 6, and then 1 to 7, and then 2 to 8, and so forth. And we'll go around the clock four or five times. And that will be one set. Now then, whatever we do on one side, we're actually going to turn this over and now we're going to do it on the other side. So we have uh, reverse pronation and supination. That's a little more difficult. And then we have reverse flexion extension. And then we have reverse rotation. And then we can go both ways, clockwise and counterclockwise. And then we have the reverse clock. All right. We have we're done with that. Now when you're starting out, probably you'll need to, to rest after each segment to give guys a chance to shake it out. Start, start your, your real young guys down here. When you can feel like they can do this exercise, you want to make sure you can master the movement before you, you add weight. So um, once again, the number of reps we'd like to have is 25 or we do it 45 seconds or a minute.